This past summer, I shut down the fish room. We remodeled the room, which hadn't been updated since the house was built in the mid-1950s. I moved some of the aquariums to another room and drained the rest. I didn't have room in the house for all the fish, so I put a group of Barbodes semifasciolatus, wild-type and domestic gold barbs, in an old backyard cattle stock tank that I used to collect rainwater. When the fish went outside, the fish room got a makeover. A new coat of paint, a new ceiling, new lights, and a new floor. When the room was finished, I brought all the adults in, and also lots of fry. The fish did what fish usually do in the summer, they bred. In this video, I'll tell you how to breed fish in a backyard tub, how to protect them from predators, how to keep the adults from eating all the eggs, and how to give the fry a good chance to survive and grow up. I'm Bob, and this is Sonny's Fish Room. Whether it's an in-ground pond, a fountain water feature, or a freestanding tub like I have, it's not necessarily a safe place for fish. Lots of creatures will eat your outdoor fish, like wading birds, frogs and snapping turtles, and the occasional marauding raccoon. I built a covering for my backyard tub. It's just window screen stapled to a wood frame. It won't keep raccoons out, but dragonfly larvae love to eat baby fish, and the screen stops dragonflies from laying their eggs in the water. The screen also keeps the occasional gray squirrel or chipmunk from falling in the tub and drowning. The first step is to add lots of cover. Plants, rocks, old killimops make lots of places for the fish to hide from any critters that might find the tub. The plants also give the fish a place to spawn and hide their eggs, which will cut down on the adults eating them. I also added sponge filters from my tanks. They weren't great cover for the fish, but I needed a place to keep them so they wouldn't dry out, so the denitrifying bacteria in the sponges wouldn't die. I also added a lot of floating plants. The idea was to give the fry hiding places when they make it to the surface. Floating plants would also help the adults hide from any visiting critter that might try to pick them off. I only fed the fish a couple of times. I'm assuming they ate the larvae of mosquitoes and other flying insects that found their way under the screen and left their eggs in the tub. Sometime in August, a raccoon found my fish tub. He tore a hole in the screen, but I don't think he got any fish. The floating plants did what I needed them to. They hid the fish from a visiting predator. Although he didn't get any fish, the raccoon did take some bites out of the filter sponges. When I drained the tub, I took out a lot of young barbs. There were also some white cloud mountain minnows. I didn't put any adult white clouds in the tub, but I did put some breeder boxes in from a white cloud tank that I took down, and the fry hatched out of those breeder boxes. If you missed it, I made a video on how to build a breeder box to get more fry. If you liked this video, here's another one you might like. For more tips on breeding and raising fish, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.